Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning, morning, Donna. Good morning, Steve. Hey, yeah, we are Happy Hour Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska, full time. Rehomers of stuff. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> um, today, we are going to talk about all of the different that we can think of platforms. Platforms that people sell on what we sell on and why we sell on and we're going to kind of give our thoughts on a few different things um but there, there's a lot there's a lot if you want to be a reseller in the world right now there, there are so options. many options yeah so many options and we got some feedback on our last video on the updates the resell or the relisting updates we're going to kind of just touch on those a little bit and share a few other things but we do have some things that sold yes, we so do. we're going to jump in with the first few of those All right, so we're going downstairs and find some things that sold. Uh, I'm just going to show you the garage, show you like how things are. And this is, we literally walked out here. This is in the middle of working conditions. <laughs> so we didn't move anything or anything like that. So here's here's my setup. This big box is the fire box that you've seen. Uh, I did list some of it working on that currently. And my mess. And then stuff Donna's working on. She's got some necklaces and jewelry and turtle stuff she's got fire trucks back there a lot of turtle stuff mm -hmm. um this is back all here listed already. this is all listed already and so back here there's a box that's for ebay when we list on ebay she has one and i have one and actually yesterday i listed these two they both have different hair color one has red hair and one has brown hair i don't know if you can see that but i listed these for I think 26 or 27.99 each and within an hour somebody bought both of them yep so there i guess there's our first what sold so we need to take these downstairs that's right uh, then new also, stuff lists easy and sells quick what's that new stuff yeah absolutely yeah uh and then also while we're out here i just wanted to give a shout out where are we going we're going right over here i want to show randy our friend randy who is a reseller he was going to use bankers boxes and he wanted to do a little bit different system, so he reached out to see if we could use the banker's boxes. We had been talking about getting another rack. storage rack or something, so absolutely we could use those. So And look, in we, his honor, we labeled them? Is, yeah, we have all the... He already had them numbered, uh, but we already have these numbers. So in his honor, we, main, we numbered them all R's. So we have R1 through R18. <laughs> so thanks a lot, Randy. We do seriously appreciate that. All right, we are going to jump into a huge sale right here in the basement. And Donna, where did this come from? This came from the Good Friday buy. Which was like our first... Early, early on. Like three years ago, probably? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our first bulk. It was Good Friday of 2021. Yes, and uh, we bought out basically an estate of a friend. His mom was um, an antiquer. Yeah and had a lot of things and this we didn't even know it was part of the buyout when we bought it it was just in the bottom of one of the boxes and so i didn't list it for a good year yeah it's been on for a while and it sold we've sent offers on it and it sold for full price yeah let's get it out here get can, you some guess, of it out. can you guess what it is cool oh there you go all right, this is flatware. It's a big, large 75-piece set, and we've never heard of this brand. As, I mean, as a cars, we I have, but it's Bugatti. Look at that, Bugatti flatware set. 75-piece set. Take a look at that. And this whole set sold for what, Donna? $249.99. $249.99 for yeah. Bugatti flatware. So watch out for Bugatti. Yeah, we <laughs> Anything, do. apparently. We had no idea it was like Bugatti flatware. That's crazy. But yeah, like we said, we've sent offers. It's been on here for a while. And somebody in California bought it. Full price, $249.99 out the door. And by the way, the firemen, the G.I. Joes that we showed already, those are going to Pennsylvania. I want to make sure to mention that we're still waiting on Alaska, and then we'll have a full map. We did have one clothing sale. This is a Magellan, like a fishing shirt, and it sold for $10, and that is going to Alabama. Yeah. Okay, Donna, then we had an old listing. So we do have some old stuff we selling. We did. We did have some older things. Uh, this so. is a board game, and it's on the, on the shelf behind the map. You see the green end there? This came from a uh, air park buy that we did. Yeah, <laughs> a little dusty. 
Uh, that is One More Time, fine edition. Look at that. That is from 1967, and it is complete. And that sold for $16.63 and is going over the Little River and going to Iowa. Oh, cool. All right, so when it comes, if you're a reseller and you want to figure out what to do with your stuff, there are many, many options. Let's name a few, Donna. Okay. See how many you can name. There's eBay. Yes. There's this new one that we have. It's not new, but we've been selling some stuff on Bonanza, Macari, Posh. Commonwealth and his friends started a district with lots of different platforms. Yeah, lots of different marketplaces inside Market district. Yeah. Dibdit. Some of our friends sell on Dibdit. Commons is one. Yeah, brand new in Commons, which we will talk about. Uh, there is Whatnot. A lot of uh, big YouTubers yep. um, are selling on Whatnot, or big resellers are selling on Whatnot. Um, we have our Lincoln Dollar Auction. Our Which is a Facebook group. We have several. We have two of those. There's Marketplace. Um, there's Flea Markets. Oh, yeah. And then there's like Antique Booths. Like antique we have a, booths. We have a booth in an antique sales. store. Garage sales. We do a Everything's a Dollar Garage Sale twice a year. Yeah. Um, did, yeah. I, did I get them Man, all? Man, I, I thought you were going to stumble a little bit and I was going to have to think of something. But I know there's something we're missing. One of the... Poshmark, Macari, and there's something else. But anyway, but that's a very good list of a lot of the different platforms that you can list and sell on. Um, so we get asked a lot in the comments, a lot of times, uh, do you do whatnot? Because, you know, when we do like this turtle buy and stuff, there may be some people interested that would buy on whatnot. Uh, I am... First of all, what is whatnot? What is whatnot? Whatnot is a... Uh, just a live, they go live. It's like kind of like a YouTube live, but it's live selling platform where they go live and then they show the thing that they're going to sell. And then they have a timer of 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds or whatever. And then it's just an auction thing. And at That's the end, just a real quick people bid, 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 bid. Yep. And at the end, then the winner buys it and then they you ship it to them. Yeah. And then you ship it to them. So that's, it's very fast, fast um, paced. moving. Yeah. You can turn product over really quickly inventory yeah, you, really quickly. we've seen people uh we've been on whatnot and watched and people you know you can sell 60 things in like an hour and a half or if you really want to just oh, chug, uh, chug more through than them that, yeah so you can move a lot of items in a very short time it's it's intriguing i've always been very very against it i've bought some things on it before because it's fun but man you can buy stuff fast yeah <laughs> um before we get into like why we don't do whatnot let's talk about like posh and Macari. Posh and Macari. Donna tried those. I did. And um, a, with Posh especially, there's it's more of a social platform where you share each other's closets and things like that. And I just didn't have the time to spend with that. Now, I know that there are um, some tools that you can use that actually share for you and that kind of thing. So that's gotten better. Macari um, is just basically it's like eBay just on a smaller scale smaller scale yeah and then there's also i forgot etsy yeah oh yeah etsy etsy's primary most of etsy is for like homemade items like if you're a it's, crafter it's designer changing, something like though. that but it is changing but that's how it started was for homemade items and then bonanza we can't forget bonanza bonanza is just uh it's an online marketplace but it's super 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 easy to sign up and just have them it they just transfers your ebay store yeah. over so that's why we signed up because there's not you don't have to bump it and share it and everything else. You just transfer it, and it takes care of everything, it basically. It itself. And we've sold several it's things on there. Probably a handful of things, yeah. Yeah. And then Facebook. So Facebook Marketplace and Facebook, like, selling groups that are in your area, um, that's an option. Marketplace is also, um, you can sell nationwide. Yeah, I used, to, I used to list things on Marketplace, cross-post them on the Marketplace, and I've shipped... All over the country on marketplace yeah. all of a sudden like last year in 2023 in the beginning of the year they came out with then they wanted you to promote their items kind of like ebay and i didn't do it and my sales completely literally stopped like really? i didn't sell anything for like six months uh, to ship on there but then your local marketplace if you have something you don't want to ship or something you know really targeted towards local people like i have two husker vintage coats i put them on marketplace uh, cause they're just for around here and you can do mm -hmm. local pickup and that. Mm -hmm. And then there's Facebook groups and that's where 
we fall into majorly there's facebook groups in areas that are dollar auction sites so when we say sell it on dollar or sell it on dollar auction that's what we're talking about and we feel like we're really blessed or really lucky to have this option some of you have asked about it what is it how does it work and that kind of thing how do you join and 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 that um the biggest thing is it's a local to your area local group and um so if you live outside you know you live an hour away from lincoln you you can't join because you have to be able to pick up within 48 hours in Lincoln right and so there are a lot of different areas that have their own dollar auction um, and there's some places wide. that have I know there's a town not far from here that has a 48 hour dollar auction right? so mm -hmm. they list it and it's on for two days 48 yep. hours before it ends just to yep. give more people a chance to see it well we can go into dollar auction and explain how that works a little more but first I want to say thank you to some people Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get back into, we will explain the dollar auction. We will yes. explain like what we do and why we do it the way we do it. Um, it. And we'll get to that in just a little bit. But first I need to say thank you. All right. Let's get into a few more what solds because Donna sold some what? Cozies and sticker packs. Yes. Let's get into that. Okay, Donna, in case somebody didn't see the last video, what are we talking about? We are talking about our little sticker and coffee cozy packs that you can that are available now and I'll be updating them and adding more but it's just a little way that you can support the channel if you'd like and get a sticker and also get something that I made because I love to crochet. This is a coffee cozy. It goes around your like scooters or Starbucks or whatever um, your favorite coffee shop is. It goes around the cup. And you can also and they have little little different style buttons yes of all different themes and you can also if you want to do it as a gift you can stick their favorite coffee house gift card in there yep. and give it as a gift that kind of thing yep. it's just something we wanted to do to help promote the channel um also all you have to do is search on ebay happy heart treasures and it comes up yes with this and so, so what, does it, what does it cost it's five dollars to $5 get dollars plus shipping plus shipping to get the cozy and the sticker yep yep and so we have some people that bought uh, I think four of them today yeah they each bought one yes yeah so this is uh, number one that was on there that she had uh -huh. and this one sold to somebody down the road from us in Beatrice Nebraska this sold to bumps junk collectibles so thank you Rick appreciate that thank you. appreciate the support yes okay and then we had number 11 sell it's got a little coffee cup on it there and this goes to marissa in nebraska also in minden nebraska thank you marissa thank you for your support. yeah it says repeat buyer so uh, marissa has bought from us before nice all right the next one we have is cup cozy number nine with a little steampunk emblem there and look at that shiny <gasps> yarn and there's our dog isn't that cool <laughs> and that is going to michelle from alabama thank you michelle thank you michelle and then lastly we have number eight coffee cozy number eight and it has a little pumpkin on it and this is going to Dwayne in Oregon so Dwayne thank you for your support Dwayne also reached out and asked about um nightmare before Christmas nightmare before Christmas and we so are, we're going to Joann's today to get a special nightmare before Christmas button yeah we're gonna see if they have some buttons and try to get some made with that for yes them. so thank you and that is the coffee cozies that sold thank you to your sub the supporters we do appreciate it and yeah just search coffee cozy have search happy heart treasures and you can find them on there and you could have one too you could make donna's happy yes donna man when them <laughs> sales come through donna's super excited so that's awesome mm. thank you all right donna grab box 41 and let's uh grab something out of there this is another old listing um from the refresh we did on Sunday. This is a tea towel, New Zealand. Oh, we talk about our very first clean out, and which was Malcolm. And this is from that very first large estate sale clean out. All right, Cricket, as explained, Cricket as explained to a foreign visitor. <laughs> um, this is a tea towel and it's about the game of cricket. And this sold for $11.72. And it is going to Missouri. Nice. All right, next is in box 32, right behind you. There's actually two oh things in goodness. here. We just listed these. 
Yes. Uh, there's actually two things in here. Number one is there's two snowmen and dogs fire hydrants. Snowmen firefighters. Does that make sense? The s'mores ones? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that you know, sounds better. Two of these little things, and they are from the firehouse by... Yeah, little s'mores uh, ornaments. They're just alike. And they are going to Michigan, and they sold for $13.75. Okay. Also in there, this morning, somebody bought two different uh, Lamax figures, and in there, there should be a Shine Those Boots item. Right here. Right there, a little Shine Those Boots. They bought that for $7, and then they bought another one that's in another box that we will grab now. I took the camera, so now Steve gets to show. <laughs> All right, so box six, there's another Lamax. And it's probably this right here. Yes. Fireman and the Dalmatian right there. And they bought that for $7. And we're going to combine shipping. So $14 for those two Lamax figures. Okay. And it's going somewhere. It's going to Florida. Oh, just had another sale. We did? Yep. Donald will like it. I don't like it because I don't want to ship them, but I will. What? <laughs> All right. Since Donna doesn't know what this is, it'll be even a little more fun. Uh, we're gonna go to box. It's on the shelf in the red Cape Cod stuff. Is that this stuff over here in the tote? Yeah. Oh, we just put stuff on top of there. Okay. All right, she found them in there. We There's four of these. We sold these not too long ago. Ruby red, look at that. Isn't that cool? And those sold for $39.99 plus shipping and they're going to New Jersey. That's where the last ones went. Is it? Yeah. It could be. Are they are they repeat buyers? They're not repeat buyers. Okay, so back into the different things. We were talking about Facebook dollar auction. We were talking about, yeah, what is the dollar auction? Dollar auction is a Facebook group that operates like an auction. And so our particular dollar auction, we have two. One's called Lincoln Dollar Auction and the other is called Sassy Second Chance. They have the very same rules, except for the fact that you can do 25 <coughs> items. That's our <coughs> Daisy dog. 25 items per 24 hour period on one and the other one is unlimited. So basically you are allowed to list 25 items a day every 24 hour period on the one. So we're gonna talk about Lincoln Dollar Auction right now. You list your items and the bid starts at a dollar or whole dollar increments. It doesn't do cents or anything like that. So people can come on and bid for 24 hours. At the end of 24 hours, the auction is over. And then after the auction is over, we call the winners, we package the item, and then they come and pick up. We arrange, you know, pick up times and places and whatever else, but we just use our house. Yeah, and some people will meet in parking lots mm -hmm. or something like that, like parking lots or police stations even, yes. you know, if they're worried about their safety or whatever. Mm -hmm. but. And we feel lucky to have this because a lot of other resellers are on this group, and we, with our business model, is a quick nickel over a slow dime and so we actually resell to resellers sometimes um, but we are just moving the the in inventory and uh, moving it on along to someone who needs it someone who is going to resell it or someone who can refurbish it that kind of thing if that kind of uh, sales platform sounds interesting to you, go ahead and search in your area. Sometimes it is Lincoln Dollar Auction, you know, so the well, town, Link, name. Yeah, town name. Or sometimes it is, you know, um, Rice count, County. So county sometimes name. it's the county name. Sometimes it is the metro area. So like just, a Tri Cities or something like that. Mm -hmm. So just search Dollar Auction or 24 Hour Auction and you should be able to on Facebook so on your Facebook account do a search for dollar auction or 24-hour auction or even 48-hour auction to try to find what auctions you have available in your area because yeah there might be some you don't even know it yeah um, and we do have another one here in town too it's called the Star City yes. so it doesn't even have the name of Lincoln or a county or anything like that it's called Star City auction and it works the very same way as well yeah um like for example like lincoln is 20 250 to 300,000 people i think it's getting closer to 300,000 the biggest dollar auction group we have is 12,000 people so there's like 250,000 people not on there and majority vast majority of those don't even know about it so 
you may have one in your area and not know it. So get in there, search for it, and see. They do have some strict rules. Like, so to avoid problems, the biggest one that there is, they have strict rules. Like if they don't pick up, they get kicked off. Or if you if you bid on your own items or you find somebody putting in proxy bids to build drive prices up, you get kicked off. If, now if you have family members in the same house that can't bid on the items because that too, looks too shady like proxy bidding, we do have family members that do bid on items. They don't live with us or whatever, but they know that this is part of our livelihood and so we keep strict. Like we don't, we don't want to mess this up, so we follow all the rules. But yeah, if you get caught or if you don't pick up or you change a bid, like if you go on there and you bid $5, and then nobody else bids and you lower your bid to $3, you get you'll off. get kicked off for doing that too. So there are a lot of rules, but it is fantastic. We started doing this how long ago? Oh, we started doing this Jeepers Creepers probably eight years ago. Yeah, six to eight mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And then when I left my job, I did this mostly dollar auction. And then we started dabbling more into eBay. And then when Steve quit, we went eBay full force along with dollar auction full force. So we have anywhere from 25 to 75 auctions every day. Yeah, we move on an a lot average of stuff. on the dollar auction plus what we put on eBay. So to put an item on the dollar auction, you do you take you know pictures front, back, side, you know tag whatever. So you're you're putting on four to five to whatever uh, pictures. So it's a lot like eBay, but the prices are are lower. There's no shipping. Or usually they're lower. Sometimes they're comparable, but there's no shipping. It's local pickup. It's cash. Um, you know or venmo we use venmo yeah and so when we talk about like whatnot people have asked do we do whatnot honestly whatnot is very very similar it's a timed auction at the end of it the winner buys buys it but then you have to ship those items my problem with venmo with whatnot why i always tell her no we can't do whatnot is because in order to do whatnot you have to start and give away things really really cheap in order to build an audience so that people will come and give you better prices for things. I'm not opposed to that. I, I think that's, I understand it. I understand why it's like that. That's the same with Didbit uh, that we talked about in... Uh, Dibdit? Dibdit. In, uh, what's that called? District. District, yes. There's different marketplaces in District like that too. And they're all live reselling apps. Well, my problem is we've already built up an audience in the dollar auction in our local town so we have an audience we have people that follow us and watch and watch what we post and not only that but we don't have to ship these things if we sell 50 things on the dollar auction we don't have to ship any of them i'm not opposed to shipping 50 things but i don't know that we have the time to build up an auction well, and shipping you know 50 what i mean things take so much more time than it does to just package it quick and have people stop and pick up i yeah. think oh absolutely Absolutely, depending upon what you're shipping. If it was like all clothes, that wouldn't take very long, um, or all the same thing. Like if you sold all hats and you had the same box and you were just packaging as you go, that wouldn't be bad. You know, it wouldn't be like when I ship and it's everything from ruby red plates to cup cozies. I mean, it's let's, that takes a lot longer to have a lot of variety. Yeah, and there is, uh, if you're a reseller and you're watching this, if you haven't heard about this, you probably have if you're watching YouTube, but Kevin at Commonwealth Picker, he started a group in the district that's called Commons, and it is for resellers to sell to other resellers. And quite honestly, it, that's brilliant. He's watching it close, he's monitoring it close and really vetting people to sell because he wants it to be fair. So basically, like, if I had a box of hats, and I just didn't want to take the time to clean them and list them. I don't like that or jewelry or clothes or whatever. People are listing them in that group at fair enough prices that they can make a little money. Somebody else can buy it and then they can do it, you know, and make money on each individual items. Really cool concept, really cool idea. We haven't done much on there, but we do know a couple people that have sold on there. You know, Grams and Pops Vintage have sold quite a few things on there. Um, and I know some people vintage that have bought pictures. on there. Um, vintage pictures, ephemera, uh, all kinds of things. But we don't, the reason we don't, like I've looked into it and I think it's a great idea and I encourage anybody to check it out. I think it's brilliant. 
but we're friends with enough resellers around here that if we have stuff we don't really want to deal with and sell we just sell it like locally because there's a lot of resellers around here even we have friends uh, uh resell to ride in oklahoma i had a box of hats that i just didn't want to clean and didn't want to deal with so uh they bought i shipped them a whole box of hats it's the same thing except it's more it's a marketplace for that so i would go check that out it's district and then it's uh commons and if you're not sure if you can't find it go to commonwealth pickers website and there's like a link for it. you can find it on there so donna if I said one day, screw it, let's do whatnot, would you be game? Yes. Okay, I'm not saying that today. No. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying that that option is becoming more and more available in my mind. And what really changed my mind about it, I don't, it'd have to be something where you're selling something similar because I don't want to ship a whole bunch of weird packages if I got to do 60 things. But when we got this turtle buyout and I see all these different turtles, you could do a turtle show. Now, You'd have to have enough buyers though. I mean, you know, I mean, there's a lot of problems with it too, just starting out, but. Well, yeah, some people do plush shows. Some people do uh, shoes. Some people do. The sports cards. Sports cards. Vintage uh, clothing. And some people you do. You know, Star Wars show, you know, bags, you know, anything like that. Um, so I'm sure you could do it with things like turtles or firehouse, you know, firemen collectibles. Yeah. Yeah, resell to ride. We know they sell on Dibdit, which is just like whatnot, oh, yeah, Walt Disney. and they do it. They do it quite a bit on time. They have like raid trains where one reseller will go, and then when they're done selling their stuff, they get like a half an hour, and then they send it to another reseller, hoping that all the viewers that build up just continue to keep going to the different people and watching their sales. So, I mean, that's a cool concept too. We haven't jumped into anything like that. We haven't even really talked about it because of. You know what we do takes a lot of time all the stuff that we do go through so you know it's really something that we'd have to make a conscious decision that okay we're going to take away from our time on this stuff and put it over here and try it so you know it may be something that we do um but not today not today see how he does that to me he teases <laughs> me he dangles the little surprise and <laughs> uh usually i give you the surprise yeah <laughs> All right, let's uh, get the rest of the whistles. Okay. All right, we have three more things, Donna. I want you to grab box 80 for the next one. 80. And in box 80, you're looking for a monkey. A little monkey. I don't know what it is exactly. It's a puppet. Oh, is it? Yes. He's a puppet. <laughs> There is a cute little monkey giving you a hug. Mm -hmm. And that monkey sold for $12.99 and it is going to Georgia. He's cute. Yes. All right, and then we have box 40. And in here, you're going to have three Pyrex dishes that were part of a relish tray, but we did not have the stand. All right, these little relish dishes, there's three of them. That's part of a tray and it should have had the stand with it but we don't have the stand and if it had the stand it sells for probably what oh close to 80 dollars yeah so the but three it, dishes it has a stand but yeah we didn't have the stand and in the stand is a cover and, and a spoon for each one and we didn't have that so but we did get those at a garage sale in a bulk buy like we bought a few boxes mm -hmm. and those sold for 30 dollars plus shipping and they are going to we would have been excited like a week ago about mm -hmm. this they're going to new hampshire new hampshire <laughs> Our second New Hampshire sale <laughs> since we started the map. Started the map on May 6th, by the way. So it's been almost two and a half months. Yes. And the last thing we're uh, grabbing today, Donna, is in box 23. My favorite box. Because your favorite number. Is 23. Why? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Greatest basketball player ever. I, I saw a meme yesterday that says, if you're under 30 and you think... LeBron James is the greatest basketball player ever. You need some coaching. And if you're over 30 and you think that LeBron James is the greatest basketball player ever, then you're just effing stupid. So <laughs> I loved it. I thought Sorry, it was great. Mom. <laughs> hey, I edited it. Okay. All right, we're in here. We're looking for an ice cream truck ornament. And, oh, there it is. There right it there. Is. First one you grab. Look how good she is at this. That is a Hallmark Keepsake Ice Cream Truck Ornament. That sold for $13. And that is going to North Carolina. North Carolina. 
which is where Michael Jordan played college basketball, by the way. Oh, how appropriate. <laughs> All right, that is it. That's all. That's a long enough video. If you have any other questions about the platforms or about what we do or anything oh, like yeah, that, put them in the comments. Put them in the comments, and we do respond to pretty much all the comments, and even the negative ones we respond to. Yeah, we don't pretend to know everything. We know we don't know everything, but we might know somebody who does know the answer, so we can help you find it. <laughs> I always feel like we're really not very good at this, and we really don't know anything. But we have been doing this full time for over three years and we're still doing it. So I guess we must yeah. know something. Yeah. Um, we are not going to focus like uh, and keep telling you about all the negative comments that we do get when we do get them. Oh, well, you wait. But, but. <laughs> you guys, that video. Oh. Hit 100,000 views. What? Yeah. 100,000 views on, on the storage one video. video. How does that even happen? I It's magic. I don't know. Magic. <laughs> yeah, our view average is like 400 to 600 views in a video. Well, we go to 700, sometimes 1,000. Well, yeah. But 100,000, and this morning, it was 100,250 yeah. views. So that's awesome, and we really appreciate it. And so if you have joined us from that video and decided to subscribe from that video. Thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you. I don't know how you saw it or, how, you know, what, but thanks. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to, I promise, we're not going to tell you every negative comment that comes in, but it was funny. Last night I got home and somebody commented on that video and they're like, you don't even show it's in the bag. This is all staged. I'm telling you right now. Oh, I yeah. commented back. I hearted it and I said, well, you obviously didn't watch the whole video. There was one book bag that literally the, the zippers were corroded shut and there was, you could feel it. There was food cans in it. Exploded. And so we didn't show that bag and apparently that triggered somebody, but yeah, that, it's so funny. I'm like, well, thanks for almost watching because they obviously didn't watch the whole video. That's but so funny, though. It's it's funny. You can't I, I you can't please everyone. No, and we're not gonna like I said, we're not gonna keep focusing on the negative comments. But it when we get a laugh out of it, that's when like it's fun to share that. So. Yeah. Anyway. That's it. This is a long enough video. We got to go because I got to get this stuff shipped out so these people can be happy with their new stuff, especially their new coffee cozies. Oh, yeah. Thank so, you, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate all of you. Like and subscribe. Ring the little bell, notification bell. Yeah. Uh, that's it. We're happy our treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.